Okay. Uh, here, I want you to notice something. In the principle of chapter 1, I want you to see something. Like, if we draw a picture like that, here, here's you and me, and we have our lives along with everybody else in, in the world, you know, or, or just in, you know, people. Everybody has their story. Everybody has their sin, their problem, their personality. Everybody has their history. Everybody has their thing, whatever it is, that makes their life what it is. In the first chapter, it's not about this, this whole thing. It's about something higher. It's something above and beyond. It's the mind of God. This is where, this is a whole new way of thinking for people. People don't generally go, they would read through chapter, yeah, 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 oh, that sounds good. That's nice for the Ephesians, you know, but I'm, I'm living in Baltimore, or that's nice for some of them. I'm sure Timothy fits in that category, but not me. You don't know me. You don't know my life. You, got, you don't know me. And God is saying, what? Yeah, I'm talking about before the foundation of the world, before you were ever even made, before this even existed. I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking, what I decided about you. What I decided about you. Notice in this chapter, we can look at it for a minute. Uh, verse 4, according as he has chosen us, there is a big word. We have in verse 3, all spiritual blessings. So we, have, we can draw another picture about it. I think we could say all, and we have the word us. We have all. He has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. What does that mean? The creation. Well, before creation, what was there? There was the Trinity. There was the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the angels, and the El Elohim. The, the powers that God created in the heavens for his family. But, but then when he created the universe, the material universe, and then he made us, we are also to be in the family. And that he had chosen us in him. This is high, because uh, in the chapter, he repeats it many ways. Look at verse um, 4. We would be holy and without blame before him. Verse 5. He predestinated us under the adoption of children. It sounds like a whole category like we've been brought in adopted adoption of children in his family even before we were ever made this was decided by him in his wisdom it was his wisdom and this was decided by him to do this where in this chapter is there something about your failure your personality or your problems, or your human journaling, your life history, your, your journey in life, your failure, your miserable life, or whatever. Where is this written in this chapter? It's, uh, it's not about that. It's about a whole other realm where God is revealing to us his mind. And he's saying, I've accepted you. You are adopted. You are redeemed. Look at verse um, 5. According to the good pleasure of his will. So why did he do it? Nobody knows. Except this phrase. Good pleasure of his will. Was it because you were such a great guy? No. We were enemies. We were without strength. Why, why did he do it? Just out of his own the love, his own desire to have a family, his desire to have you in his family. He chose you in his family. 
and you have all spiritual blessings. This is a guarantee. Why is the first chapter about this? Because the rest of the book falls, falls according to this rich plan that God has for you. Uh, why did he do it? Verse 6, to the praise of the glory of his grace. Wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. Again, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. We see grace mentioned here a few times. Undeserved favor. He decided, he did it by his wisdom, verse 8, and prudence. And then verse 9, he's made known to us the mystery of his will. Here it is, the mystery of his will, and he is made no, known to us. And the pastor was preaching, and he said the angels even want to hear about it. Because the angels know it is reality, but they want to hear human beings preach about it. That they have seen it, that they understand the mystery of it. The mystery of his will. 